Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, it's been a long time since I did a video. I said, you know, I better make a video. Uh, like, give y'all a little update what we've been doing and everything. And uh, we've been pretty busy, you know, doing different things. And uh, so I just want to show y'all a little bit what I've been doing here. Uh, first thing I want to show you, uh, I don't think I've showed y'all this here. But it's like a two car, little car fort deal that I built onto my, uh, I own it for my, uh, where I keep my camper right there. It's kind of built on there and I keep my tractor and one of my trucks. And I thought about putting my boat up under here, but I decided to leave it back in the back, back here. But, uh, did that little add on right there and, uh, even thinking about maybe eventually coming. That's why I left this corner, this overhang here. I'm thinking about adding on to this end here or maybe another uh, stall right here for something and uh so it turned out you know real good i think i did make a video on uh what i was doing how i hang my uh roof rafters right there so but it turned out real good and uh let me just walk all around here. You remember I was working on my workshop for my leather work. Well, I always get more than one iron in the fire at the same time. And there's been some change of plans on that. Let me just show you right here. I'm walking along here. We got a little corn down here growing. A little late corn there growing that there so i'm not sure how that's gonna work out but maybe we'll get some corn off of that uh i think it's mosby prolific corn where i put plenty there plant some hickory king corn also earlier it didn't do too good at all but um anyway y'all this is uh y'all remember that little leather workshop i was building uh, for most part it's done i got some trim work to do on it and uh can't remember exactly what i showed y'all the last time i was working on it i can't remember if i had my porch on or not but anyway uh put a porch on it right there and they gave me an opportunity you know i'll do some work out here on my porch and um i guess in the end i guess i could expand on the shop a little bit if i need to but i like that porch right there it looks nice and Right now, I just uh, have some elm of wood I cut, and uh, maybe here, out of the sun there. Uh, got that kind of drying out there, and if you wonder why I have wood on my porch drying out. Well, there's been a change of plans. There's a little door right there. Got to get it framed out, trimmed out and everything. Been a change of plans on my leather workshop here. You can see I have a uh, wood lathe in here now and uh, I bought this lathe I, I guess it's probably at least three years ago probably it could be close to four years now time kind of flies by with me and uh, I just uh, decided to uh, instead of putting in my other wood workshop to put in here and I've, I've not used it yet um, one reason I decided to go ahead and put it in here is I figure it would be more beneficial to have a air condition in summertime. And uh, so I put an air condition in here and uh, that's the main reason for right now. I've got it in here and it may stay in here y'all. Uh, it's a hard decision between, you know, putting uh, my leather workshop in here and uh, or putting this lathe in here. But uh, I made a decision to just go ahead and um put lathe in here because it's hot summer and i figure i could uh you know make you know a better money off of my uh doing some bow turning different stuff instead of just doing my leather work um even though i, I still want to do my leather work it just like I, said, I get too many hours in the fire at one time and just trying to make a decision which way to go and i thought this way you know it'd be a little bit better for me and um, like I say I was still 
haven't done my blacksmithing uh, either. I just want to say I get too many irons in fire going one time. And I just got to slow it down and you know focus on one thing at a time, and and that's what I'm gonna do here. And just uh, work on this uh, wood turn in a little while, and uh, over here start getting some of my stuff put in here. Uh, still got to put a drill press and a sander and belt sander in here and got a other day just start getting some uh, uh tools and stuff i'm gonna be needing for wood turning different things uh, i got a little face plate right there three inch face plate uh got this uh let me show you right here this wood chuck right there uh, I just got that in. I ain't even opened it up, y'all. Uh, just different things that comes with there that I need. And um, got a couple gal just came in. I ain't had time really even to uh, get them out. I got a uh, this here is a 5 8 inch, uh, well, it's actually a half inch flute, but it's showing it's 5 8 bar stock uh, bowl gouge and uh i didn't want to get just uh the most expensive turning tools just starting out and this one here is a hurricane tur uh, turning tools so i didn't just go completely the cheap as i could get and uh just going incrementally by the ones i feel like i'm needing and this here is going to be i think a one inch roughing gouge uh, let's see pretty sure that's what i bought yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a, a one inch uh, rough and gal. So uh, that's also the hurricane, and uh, eventually I'm gonna upgrade my uh, turning tools as I get more into it. And uh, this uh, it came, this particular lathe came with a six inch uh, face plate, and I figured it's a little bit, well, actually a lot too big. For me just starting out that's why i bought this little three inch right here and on this lathe right here i'll show you a little bit more about that i don't think they make this lathe anymore it is a model uh geo 462 and uh it's gonna be like more like a entry level type lathe but i figured you know worked good enough for me um it did have one part that was missing in it and I should have opened it up years ago, but it came so well packaged, I figured, well, surely wouldn't nothing be missing out of it. And uh, I had a little, uh, on the bottom here, I had to make a uh, metal plate out of a steel spring and uh, where it clamps down, tightens this up right here. But it works fine now. And uh, so I've heard a little bit about these wanting to work a loose. This is how you tighten it down at headstock. So I may have to uh, go back and uh, redo this. Pretty much everybody, you know, I've kind of heard, you know, getting reviews, showing these kind of want to loosen up and have a little problem here also. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Uh, I'm just going to take it day by day. And, uh, I haven't uh, turned anything on it yet. I'm just about to the point where uh, I'm getting ready. I've been uh, storing some wood and stuff up for uh, several years now. I've got pecan wood, pine, uh, cheer wood. Like I said, I just started grinding this uh, wood out here on my uh, front of my porch right here out. And my brother, he's going to bring me some wood down. Or I'm going to go up there to his uh, place in Tennessee there and try to get me some uh, walnut wood. Uh, then get some locust and uh, maybe some, uh, let's see. Uh, Got the other type he said he had up there. He, he got all kind of different hardwoods, so I'm gonna pick up different uh, pieces of wood from him and I uh, get started on my bow making. And uh, I'll be bringing y'all along for that and uh, show y'all uh, as I go along. Uh, just as, uh, like I said, on my blacksmith, and I, I haven't done that, but when I do uh, start some of that, I'll, I'll bring y'all some videos on that. But um, as far as the summer and everything, uh, I tell you, it's been hot. Check out my window right here. I got these little cedar trees. Um, 
I'm gonna just leave those. It helps block some of that sun coming out of the west. But uh, gives them a nice little view out through there, you know. And uh, show you out this window here. But um, <clears throat> yeah, this summer's been real hot and everything, and y'all see how much I'm sweating here already. It's nine noon time here, and I uh, should have the air conditioning on, but uh, I didn't want all that noise stuff going on uh, while I'm trying to do a video here. But uh, the other thing I've been doing a lot, uh, we just got through playing baseball, uh, little league baseball, and I put uh, some pictures and maybe some video in this. Uh, also, my son in there, first year he played baseball, so I spent a lot of time with him playing baseball and getting him up to where you know I feel like you know he needs to be for his age. Uh, he's nine years old now, and uh, like I say never played ball, and I was real proud of him. You know he. You know, he plays first base and uh, also he, like a relief pitcher and he does real good in that too. And uh, he enjoys it and spent a lot of time with him uh, with that, you know. And they won uh, second place in the county in, uh, in a tournament, postseason tournament. They won second place and uh, in the preseason, uh, like a, a tournament, they actually won first place. So, uh, you know. They, they, we had a good team. I helped coach uh, the team this year, uh, assistant coach. So uh, that was fun. I never done anything like that before. Uh, Asher basketball last year, I was, you know, help uh, coach basketball, and I'll be doing that again this year. And uh, they, his team last year, they got first place also. So, you know, uh, been enjoying a lot of that, you know, but. Uh, but I just want to bring y'all on. I don't want to make this video too long, y'all. Uh, Cause it is kind of warm out here and hot, and uh, I gotta get my other tools and stuff to so go ahead and get, put them together and put them in here. But you know, I just want to bring y'all on and uh, give y'all, you know, update on, uh, you know, kind of what we've been doing. Um, uh, also, took a camping trip uh, for a week, and uh, I can put some maybe some footage of that and pictures and stuff of that. And, uh, had a good time camping and everything. Uh, like I said, my garden, uh, it, it didn't do too good this year, and, and that's my fault for most part, y'all. Uh, I tell you, I spent a lot of time uh, getting working my ground up and stuff, and uh, when I, well, I tell you, a lot of time I, I kept track of, I, I spent over 15 hours, you know, tilling and um, preparing my soil and stuff for my garden and everything and uh went to plant it and it rained and it rained and it rained and my seeds rotted the first time around and so uh, i think the first time i spent literally i think about 10 10 hours and that's when it all that rain came for a whole week and it just it didn't do good and it, part of it came up part of it didn't just because the seeds rotted so i spent up five hours after it got dried out and uh went back over everything and and I went down there and started planting my corn. I got my first row of corn down, and I said, well, you know, so far so good, you know. And I actually got a rototiller, a six-foot rototiller, hooked to my tractor this year. So, you know, it's not like I'm using my hand anymore with a uh, regular tiller. I'm actually using my tractor, y'all. And uh, that helps out a whole lot. So I figured, man, it'd be just like perfect. All that time I spent on it and stuff. and. It looked good now, but when I went and put mine on my second row of corn, uh, man, I, I hit I hit just hard clay pan, just literally like an inch or inch and a half below the ground. And I was so upset because all that time I'd spent on that, you know, I just, be honest, I was tired, I was aggravated. And I just, I took my corn seeds, I just, you know, I ain't never did nothing like that in my life. But um, anyway, I just had a little temper tantrum right there. I just took my seeds, I just thought, throwing them everywhere, just all across that garden. Corn, beans, peas, just butter, beans, everything, okra, everything I had, I just I just broadcast everywhere. Well, needless to say, y'all, you don't never do that because uh, you're not gonna be able to control the grass in your, and work your plants like you, you would if you put them in a you know, row. But uh, that's what I did, y'all. And then the uh, little corn I showed you there, that late corn, I, you know, I actually came back, obviously, and put them in the rows and stuff. That's why it's doing a lot better than my other corn would have done, you know, just because I broadcast it, 
and you can't you just can't work it you can't fertilize it like you need to but uh anyway uh, that's nothing new for me when it comes to having a struggle with my garden and stuff and uh that's my own fault i guess you know uh i've always struggled with my uh dirt and stuff i have here a lot of heavy clay and over the years you know um uh, I could have mended the soil, I guess, you know, but I haven't it just because there's so much room area down there to plant. It just take a lot of, uh, you know, trucks of different topsoil, manure, different stuff like that. There's still no excuse, y'all. In the end, you know, you kind of do what you want to do and uh, what seems the most important for you at the time, you know. So, you know, I, I'm always one not to lay blame on something else you know it's really in the end it's still my fault you know just ain't never did it and i'll be honest with you probably never will if i have never done it but now i probably won't never do it uh seeing like more and more think about it y'all just uh, uh i feel you know these little smaller bed gardens is probably the better way to go especially you know if you if you plant in a place that's not level and flat or if it holds a lot of water you know retention and stuff like that you probably better off just putting a small bed garden in and uh, plant that way because you can probably get more produce vegetables out of a little small little bed garden than you would out of a, a big garden that's continually working your death because either the clay is going to harden up around your plants or you, you, you can't work your soil because it's holding water for a week and a half before you can get into it you know it's so muddy getting into it but um, anyway been buying some vegetables here and there uh amish going to amish community and stuff buying some a lot of corn this year uh i like i like corn i like field corn but everybody now plants uh sweet corn but i plant field corn i plant mine i like field corn but um uh, anyway just uh so it's it's been a it's been a fairly uh, busy spring and summer for us um really uh when we went camping and everything we didn't take the boat with us uh, we fished from the bank and didn't have much luck uh fishing y'all just uh so, so hot and stuff like that you know and, um but uh plan on making a little trip over in the later uh probably early fall and try to do another small camping trip and gonna take the kids and stuff out fishing my son boy he loves fishing y'all he, he he loves it more than me probably but uh I thought I heard something coming up. Let me see what that is. I think about y'all here. I like this little window here. If something comes down the road, I can kind of see what it is. There, right there, y'all can see a tractor coming up and down the road there. Actually, they're backing up here. Let me see what they're doing here. Okay, that's going to be a working for the county. Let me see what they're doing there. He just turned around. Well. <laughs> All right, sorry, y'all got distracted there on that. But, um, yeah, y'all, this, this video is probably going to be longer and probably quite boring there. Uh, some of you may be interested in it. Some of you just, you know, just probably cut it off five, eight minutes ago, you know. Uh, I do a lot of rambling and stuff already. But that's, that's what I do a lot of times. I do a lot of rambling whenever I don't have nothing, you know, uh, in particular to say. But, um, I guess I'll go ahead and... Uh, Go and cut this video short here, and uh, like I say, once I realize I start rambling, I'll go ahead and uh, get distracted and stuff by that tractor and stuff. I'll go ahead and uh, tell y'all, y'all have a great day. Appreciate y'all watching. And as I always, friends from my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye bye.
Welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place. We're here at Trey State Park in Pontotoc, Mississippi. Today is July 16th, 2023. We're here camping. This will be our first trip. We had two that we was gonna take, one in May and one in June, and just due to different situations, we had to, to cancel them. But we are here now, so we're gonna enjoy our week-long camping trip I'm getting ready to grill some hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill it's a very nice place so we got a good campsite Austin and his daddy is out there pitching some ball I'm gonna keep in practice for the next ball season Hello, Summer. Hey. What you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Hi, Justin. It's July the 22nd, 2023. It's our last camping day. We've been here since Sunday. Had a really good time. It was sort of hot. We got some rain here and there. But overall, we had a really good time before the kids go back to school. Um, Austin is trying to hide from me. Austin, where are you at? Mm -hmm. Did you catch any fish? Mm -hmm. yeah. How many did you catch? You caught a catfish and then you caught a bass last night, your very first bass. And then you caught one that got off that jumped up in the water. You remember that one? Mm -hmm. And it like you lost your your lure, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Summer, did you have a good time? I did. Oh, good. Y'all not ready to go back to school though, are you? No. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe next time we'll have, a, we'll have another trip before too long. What's going on over here? I was videoing them about their camping trip. I tell you what, y'all, we had a great time. We spent a week out here in the great outdoors. Trey State Park in Pine Top, Mississippi. I tell you what, it's been a blazer though, y'all. It's been a hundred degrees sometimes. I tell you what, I've been sweating my head out here. What we we caught two or three fish, but we've been killing them with fish. <laughs> Austin caught his first bass. He had a big one get away. Broke the line, y'all. We're having a good time having a little camper right here. <laughs> been like four sardines in a sardine can. <laughs> I, but I tell you, ain't nothing better than coming out here, fishing and camping in the great outdoors. Mississippi, y'all come see us when you can. See y'all. 